Hello everybody, my name is Alex Del Rio and I'm a senior pre-sales engineer with Infoblox. And today we're going to take a look at the ServiceNow integration with Infoblox and how you can use the ServiceNow activity pack written for IPAM integration with the Infoblox tools. So how this looks is your, uh, info, your Infoblox installation is, is typically on-premise. You have a ServiceNow mid-server which is accepting calls from the cloud-based ServiceNow instance that has a pre-configured activity pack and has many of the API calls uh, pre-built into the ServiceNow instance. Uh, ServiceNow uh, workflows can then be created to make those API calls. The user doesn't need to worry about any of the um, actual logic behind any of that. And workflows are integrated along with the uh, changes or the requests made across the Infoblox. So our local ServiceNow engineer has been kind enough to uh, set us up with a demo. And I'm going to attempt to, to talk you through some of this. I'm not a ServiceNow engineer, uh, but I'll, I'm going to do my best to, to walk us through this. So what we've created is a use case that will simulate uh, a true uh, life situation here where we're going to be uh, creating a, we've created a workflow that will simulate a, the creation of a financial server. And this workflow uh, will handle both the business workflow, which is the top half of this, and then towards the bottom you'll see the icons there, the um, Infoblox icons where we're creating a network uh, we're going to uh, reserve an IP, then we're going to create the server and register the server with the IP and IPAM and also register the IP address in DNS. Now again, you don't really have to, the user doesn't need to know any of the logic. This can be created as a service catalog item as this one is. And uh, all the approvals and the workflows can be built in. In this particular workflow, you will see where the tech has to assign manually assign a network that can also be automated. So we're firing off the, the workflow here, and there are some some parts inside of ServiceNow that have to be initiated. Once those parts are initiated, the workflow begins, and there has to be some approval. And assignments done. Once that's done, the API process takes over, and once the assignments are created, you will see that uh, we'll be prompted. Uh, or there'll be a prompt for a for a technician to create um, an IP a, a network uh, to to let us know what what kind what's the network that needs to be needs to be uh, Reserved, right? The system can be programmed automatically to know that kind of information, but in this case, for the sake of the demo, um, we just went ahead and made it, made it a, a manual entry. So the manual uh, network will be will be added here shortly, and once that's done, then the workflow will continue. Here we go. So now all the approvals, approvals have happened and now the technician is being asked to, to manually enter what's the network that needs to be created. And once that's done, the rest of the API calls will automatically create the network and we'll watch the uh, updates as they come through. So there's the network that we're assigning. Once that's saved, there you go. The uh, the technician will have to complete that task, and once that task is completed, it's going to fire off the rest of the API calls. Here they come. There we go. Okay, now the rest of the workflow begins to kick off. Network will get created. It's going to move very quickly. 
and we're going to show you here in a minute where the activity is updated and you can see where the uh, network has been created in the default view and the IP address has been reserved so in a moment you'll see it pop up there it is so that network has been created in the default view and the IP address has been reserved and this should be if not Yep, there it goes. It's complete. So now we're going to identify the name of the server that was requested in the ticket. And we're going to ping it. And you'll see that that server has been indeed registered in DNS and that the record is accessible. You just got to find the, the name of the server and He's going to do a query here. And there you go. So if you so so that's the that's the demo and as you can see the integration works very well and is fairly automated and you can actually automate all pieces of the uh, reservation, creation and reservation. If you have any further questions, please reach out to your local uh, Infoblox engineer or ServiceNow engineer. Thanks for joining us.